next Emerson Servier, a student of the Korean University, will give a presentation on his internship at Hyundai Globis and SKC. Please give him a big hand of applause. And today I will share with you a little bit of my internship experiences on Hyundai Globis and SKC. I'm 34 years old, and if you call me Ajashi, I'm not gonna be angry with you. <laughs> Since 1997, I've been working and studying at the same time, but in 2002, uh, in 2012, I decided to fully dedicate to academic studies and to my graduation in the next year. Right after this decision, I heard about uh, Student Without Borders Korea, and here I am, like you. Uh, I'm very happy because, by all my expectations, this country gave me many first-time experiences, uh, like those at least up here. Uh, today, I'll share with you about my work experience here in Korea. I had the chance to experience two completely different environments and tasks. In Globis, I worked on CKD department at headquarter in Gangnam. On my first day at work, discovering the meaning of CKD was the easiest task. It means complete knockdown, and they are responsible for providing a total service of purchasing, packaging, and delivering automobile parts for overseas car manufacturing plants. In my case, I was working with the team in charge of this service for Brazil. In SKC, I worked on pet film production plant in Suwon, my team was in charge of management and operation of film production for displays, optical films, solar cells, and environmentally friendly products for packaging, for example. Tying the neck or wearing a spacesuit every day was something I was not familiar with, but easier to do during the winter than you are going to do during the summer. On my first day at Clovis, I arrived there one hour late. In the morning, I left my bedroom to take a shower, but then, when I came back due to the problem in my door, I was locked outside, just with a towel. <laughs> uh, Murphy's Law? <laughs> Surprisingly, a few days later at the subway, I met another Brazilian student with a similar problem, but fortunately, he had at least his coats. In Globis, they asked me not to be late again. During the lunchtime, I was talking to my co-workers, and they explained to me it's very important for us to be on time, as Globis is focused on logistics business. Despite the fact that some companies are not pushing you hard, I strongly recommend you to have a very professional attitude and always talk to your mentors about any issues you have. Close to the end of the internship period, I discovered my contract was to work 8 hours a day, but they told me to work 9 hours with plus 1 hour for lunch. By the way, it doesn't mean that they will tolerate being late. You should be aware that it's very common to stay a few hours more, like I did sometimes, or much more, like some of you have done in your internships. I was very lucky because SKC provided me dormitory inside the company so on. And living there saved me every day three hours of commuting to Seoul. I used this time, for example, to meet my co-workers and who are living in Suwon and enjoy the city with them. By the way, no curfew time. I always take very much care inside Korean companies. Most of the warnings are written in Korean and maybe field employees, they can't speak English very well. If you are not sure, always ask and follow their instructions. I must confess that before this experience, I never thought that living inside a company was a good idea. Probably because of bad news I always heard about China. 
A few days ago, I was on interview for Dursa in Incheon, and after talking about the place I live, they told me that they will provide accommodation in Incheon if I get the position. I recommend you to talk about it with your company also. Uh, on Globis, they taught us how the company manages information security, they taught us the overview of the business flow, and so on. They asked me to present some interesting business-related topics on our team meetings, and to name some Brazilian companies as potential business partners. I didn't give them just names. Instead of, I presented a procedure to look for trading opportunities among Brazil and Korea. To accomplish this task, I used Alice Web, a Brazilian system of analysis of foreign trade information. It's not just about business. We can also offer at least one relaxed and funny presentation about Brazil. But of course, Brazil is not just samba, soccer, Rio. And I think we should use these topics as a nice breaking for doing business with Koreans. Be aware that not every document will be available in English, like you can see that. <laughs> but your co-workers will explain it to you during the on-the-job training sessions. And why not use Google Translate first, just to save their time? As a final project, four interns will be split in two teams to present a business idea for Brazil. Even though my team was not the winner, I'm happy because I had the chance to remember a few lessons I learned in my life. And the important one in this case is never start something before being 110% sure about what they want from you. Keep asking about it. On SKC, they presented me a full schedule training at the first day. I had the chance to learn theories and visit the facilities of the whole process of pet film production. This, intern this internship was a perfect combination of my two degrees, chemistry and industrial engineering. I draw many diagrams and had the chance to learn how they solved some operational problems. On SKC, I used business softwares that I already use it on industries. I worked before in Brazil. I'm very happy to see that. For example, my system from Aussie Soft. During these internships, I was always looking for an answer for the gold question of science without borders. How to improve science, technology, innovation, and competitiveness. I worked before for a chemical company in Brazil that the workers felt ashamed because the company wrote their names on emergency showers. Uh, it was just to let them know which shower, for safety reasons, they must check every day to make sure it was working perfectly. But here in Korea, this practice is very common. We can see a tag with a lot of information on various equipments, including the picture of the person in charge. We can even see this in the bathrooms. I used it to work as a volunteer in Brazil, and I was very happy to see that Korean companies are committed to their social responsibilities. On Lovis, we joined at the shared event, and we worked hard cleaning bowls to help on the kitchen of a welfare center. At Jumas, they are always saying, Pali Pali, and in the end she gave me a high five. We laugh a lot. Um, inspired by them, I decided to join a shared organization in Korea, and now I'm teaching children about Brazilian world heritage nominated by UNESCO. Even though I imagine some companies are preparing this kind of event for you, I strongly recommend you to ask about it, like I did. Enjoy these activities when invited. I felt a strong team fighting culture here in Korea. All the times my team leaders invited me and I promptly accepted to, gather, to, to get together and drink or to have dinner together. And due to this, very often I had to call some of my friends to cancel personal appointments. You should do that also. I see they felt disappointed at the only one time I had to refuse an invitation for a day tour in Seoul during the weekend. And you must have lunch with your team members. One day I was working with another team different than the one I was assigned, and since we don't have that much time to talk with people from the other teams, I went to have lunch with them. But then later my co-workers are strange, and I talked to them. They told me they felt strange because somebody was missing on our team table during lunch. 
try your best to speak in Korean. It's very important to always use the words you learned in Korean. That will be a great plus for you. On an interview for Dosa a few days ago, I was asked, what are you going to do if the company culture doesn't match your expectations? My answer is that I have no reasons to be disappointed. I came here to learn and I completely understand that each company should implement a corporate culture that represents their beliefs, truths, assumptions and values. By the way, I checked my email a few minutes ago and my skills doesn't fit to the company to do some. So I'm looking for a position for this summer period. Um, my former friends, they were very surprised that we are having this chance. I wish to say thank you to the Brazilian Embassy and especially to all Korean companies that are offering this great chance to us. Kansai <laughs>